partake in our um, survey we're doing? Yeah, mattress in the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Lee. All right, so question for you. Um, if you were to have sex in the next seven days, could you do it? That's messed up. Child sex slave. I don't even know why. Yeah, it ha no, it happens. That's really messed up. I I wouldn't do that. I would do the romantic dinner for sixty dollars. Okay, douche. Um, <laughs> um. So looking at all these options, do you think um they're all valid uh, ways to you know achieve the goal and why? Well, I think we should respect the people we want to have sex with, and some of these just have no respect at all. Like child sex slave, you have to. Enslave them. Like I heard a little bit about it. It was like it's brutal stuff. And stripper, I think that's like a little bit not not so good either. Like I think I think romantic dinner and like a bar is okay. But so I think you have to respect those. Okay, so some are definitely better. Yeah, some are definitely right? better. Ways. Okay, so we're gonna shift our focus to the next panel here. You can just follow me over here. Okay. Um, so these pictures, these people here represent um. Situations in the um, previous panel we just went uh, went over. So, uh, which of these people do, you, in your eyes, do you think is the most valuable and the least valuable, and then why? Well, the most valuable is probably the child because she looks really innocent, and like all children are innocent there. Yeah. And the most least valuable person. Well, this guy just looks like he, I don't know, he's like. <laughs> Play yeah, he's a player, <laughs> and he's like, he has the girl's hands, and she's, he's just looking at someone. Are you doing my birthday? Yeah, exactly, something like that. And he's, he's got all these bad thoughts in his mind, so he's probably the least valuable. Okay, okay. all right, I'm going to share um, an ancient um, spiritual proverb with you. It says that in God's eyes, each of these is a wonderful creation that God knew even before forming them. So if you value them as much as God did, how would it affect your response to them in your situations? Well, I guess it value each person and then kind of like, I guess something happened, probably maybe happened in your childhood that like mm -hmm. made them like this. Like, I guess some of them is not their fault. And then, I guess if it's a problem for two, then it's like everyone's equally valued. you how God shows his value for them, for, you, for them and you and myself? Yeah, sure. Okay, so we're going to go to another panel, this one over here.